I wanted to utilize um, some packaging that I have from flowers. Um, this is what I got. Um, there were flowers inside and I already ripped one side. But I was thinking, what can I do with it? Um, it's really nice and it's looking really cute. Butterflies and all. So I uh, made a bunch of booklets. Um, I glued two pages together and I just um, cut the excess off the white part and I made a bunch of them and just edged them with my watercolors so um, I wanted to see if I can actually do something with this so I am going to just um, try to figure out how to put this on I think I'm going to um, sew this so it's a sewing project because it's like plastic and I don't think it's going to stay on if I just glue it down so if this is the front let's figure out how to put a really nice front I'm going to use a glue stick so the base is two pages of a book page glued together and then I cut it all around and I fold it in the middle and edged it that's all that I did I'm going to use my glue stick um, so this will stay on the actual paper uh, let's see and I think I'm just going to cut around uh, let me see how can I do this uh, hopefully you can see. I wanted to use this like so, right to the edge, and just smooth it out. And I'm going to cut this piece out. Um, yeah, and let me see. I need scissors. I have small scissors here. So any packaging you can use up like this, even um, bags if you have. You can use grocery bags. Usually they have really pretty bags as well. And lately I'm really into just doing um, booklets because I think they're really simple and oh, this looks really nice. Can you see it? So with this one, I'm just going to smooth it out and uh, I am going to leave um, this excess for now and then I'm going to just stitch all around um, before I cut the excess off. Uh, let's do the other side. Where do you want to be? Do you want to be here? Oh yeah, sure, I could do that. It's cool that you can see the text underneath. I really love that. And they're really quick and easy. And you actually recycle plastic. This is like a cellophane type thing. Let me put this aside. And just smooth this out. Really nice. I'll take this cap and just smooth it out. So, um, yeah, this is everywhere. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open it and stitch one side and then the other side. I think I'm going to use the darker thread so you can actually see. Uh, but I'm going to just pile them on top of each other and make another one really quickly. So I have another one. Um, this is again from Roses um, that I got. So these actually have holes. So maybe I could cover the holes with a sentiment or something. Let's see. I could use the pink one as well. Um, even though I kind of would like the red one or really like not purplish pink. So here I have one that it's not inked and I'm just going to ink it right now. And now I am going to figure out uh, to love, to be loved. I really like that sentiment there. 
Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. I um, think I'm going to just cut it open here. So, um, do we have... Uh-huh. Here it's a little bit sticky. I guess it had sticker on it or something. Uh, but I'm not worried at all. So, let's use this side. And let me position this. I think something like so. I can see it on the other side as well. So it's easier for me. And once it's stitched, even if it lifts up, it's going to stay there. It's not going to move anywhere. And I could still put a sentiment up here because it's kind of empty. So let me cut this one out. I'm thinking I would put this on the front, but then I need to turn this upside down. Let me see if this would be fitting. I think it would. Roses, to love and to be loved. I think it's kind of a nice sentiment. So I'm left with these pieces and I'm thinking what to do. I actually would like to create a tag or something with this. So so I have these pieces left from the roses um, packaging. Um, and here I have some of the packaging that I just painted that I just painted it and stenciled it. So I was thinking maybe I could use this to use these pieces up. So Mm, this is a little bit small. Let me see if I can actually just put something here and piece it together because I know I'm going to use a zigzag stitch on this one. Let me just put this down and see how it goes. I think I'm going to put a sticker over here. Um, let's cut this out. And I will sew all of them together because I always have to bring my sewing machine up on the table to do so. So I like to actually make a bunch and then sew them all at once. So I have some thank you stickers. Um, if you don't have them, you can punch a circle out from the paper and stamp the paper and edge it and then put it on. So I think I'm just going to go with um, this one. Maybe it's going to look the best because it's pink and it's not so, so white. So it's going to look like it's supposed to be there. Like this. And that's it. So here I have three things. Let me just stitch them up and then I'm going to show you how they look like when they're finished. I just wanted to tell you the issues that I had. So with this one, since it's clear and you can actually see the edge, I had none of the issues whatsoever. Um, just with my thread because I forgot to thread my machine. But um, I'm going to um, cut this all around. But these two, since the packaging is a little bit darker and it's hard to see where, where the edge is starting, um, I just cut it around um, and then sew on it because it was way easier to see the edge. So as you can see, um, I just cut all around and I think I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, red and just go around the edges as well so they don't show white. And the back too. This one is pretty much down on the outside, but the inside, I was thinking I would just put some papers in. Um, I stitched, if you can see, I stitched here where the edge 
um, of one of the plastic starts and then I stitched on the bottom as well. I really like it. So this one is totally finished. I could put something on the back so you can write but I just think it's um, lovely as it is. So I'm going to put this one aside and I'm going to finish this one cutting all around. So for the purple one, I was thinking, I have this really, really, really old envelope, probably from 1990s or something, and I wanted to put inside because it's a little bit pinkish in on the inside. And let me open this up. So I'm going to utilize this torn envelope for for the nice paper that it has inside. And that way I can um, not throw it away and actually use it up. I have this tiny ruler and let me see. Let me first do this side. I'm just going to start with pulling this off. Hopefully you can see this is the, the flap end. And I'll try to align, hopefully I'm aligned, and I think it's a tape on it, yeah. Can I pull the tape off maybe, and not rip everything off? I think I'm gonna save this for a ruffle. Okay, so we were here trying to get this off, trying to hold it really good. And uh, let's see, how much do we need inside? So something like this gonna go up here and down here and I'll try to make two of them I'm going to make another one and the crease in the envelope I'm gonna leave it there hopefully you can see the crease I'm just going to pretend that there is no crease there and make another one like so so we have two two papers to glue inside yep that's about it before i glue them in i want to just make some uh, nice edges this is the sponge that i used for edging all of this and sometimes for some reason i don't know I like to use um, the creases as something, you know, like here. I would just go around and edge the crease as well. Like this. I don't know why. I like to do it. Not always, but most of the time I do like to um, show that there was a crease. Maybe I can do it like this and turn it upside down. So if you do come across to some old envelopes, this is a really super way to use them up even though they are torn and usually they're filthy on the outside if they're really, really, really old, like this one. But the inside paper is usually really clean and nice. So something like this. Oh, I love it. And uh, yeah, looks fine. I think I'm going to put another butterfly in. So at the end, I just decided to go with this um, and it looks really cute and I really, really like it. So let's continue on the other one. I have some notes here that um, I found from my grandmother and I just wanted to cover so you can actually write on it.
Okay, this one has a straight edge up here and I'm just going to use my scissors and dull it a little bit so it kind of looks it was torn but it's not it's not mandatory that's just um, something that I thought of uh, so it's not gonna look so straight and let's glue them down so quick and easy um, I mean any packaging from your coffee from your everyday groceries that you actually have you can use the plastic off don't feel limited if you don't have nice looking plastic it's everywhere and especially the bags and stuff um a lot of the bags are not recycled here so this is just another way to make less trash in the world what I'm thinking now is to put some wording or something on it. I mean, I like them as they are. You can actually see some script um, on the back of the paper. This is uh, just what I have here. To maybe I could find... Ooh, I like this dog. It's kind of pink. What? Mm, it looks really nice, but I'll try to find some roses or something like that. Um, something with a rose theme. Ooh, I love this one. Maybe I can put this. Maybe. Let's dig, let's dig. Ooh, I like this one. I mean, it. you don't need to put something there, but I think... Um, it could look really nice even something like that this thing is actually um, I stamped on gessoed uh, newspaper and gessoed advertisements so um, you can have some hues in the background and then I just color my stamps with regular color pencils so I think I'm gonna go with that um, just I don't know where to put it, it looks really nice I decided to put this flower in this corner so let me use a little bit of paper and uh, try to glue this down if you have some stamps and you don't want to use really fresh paper copy paper gessoing any type of page either be advertisement or newspaper or just a book page and stamping on it um, you can make really awesome way to use up some of the stuff that we actually get home i hope this video inspired you to try to utilize things that you have in your home and make really sweet nice unique embellishments and have fun with recycling thank you very much for watching